Howdy, this is Rich. Today's spotlight is on the Mobius strip, which you may have already constructed by giving a strip of paper half a twist and joining its ends. I'll show you how to construct a Mobius strip using computer graphics and illustrate its properties using marbles and a friend named Moby. The Mobius strip was discovered by German mathematicians Mobius and Listing in the mid-19th century. The Mobius strip is used as a conveyor belt that endures longer than other belts because it wears evenly. It is also used as a sound recording tape to double the playing time. To construct a Mobius strip on the computer, first create a cylinder. Draw a circle and affix the centers of evenly spaced, upright toothpicks around the circle's circumference. If you think of the toothpicks as forming a smooth surface, then you have a cylinder. The cylinder has two edges formed by the two ends of the toothpicks, the yellow edge at the top and the green edge at the bottom. We conduct a rolling marbles test to determine the number of sides of a cylinder. Position white and orange marbles opposite each other and start them rolling in opposite directions. The white and orange marbles return to their starting point and can never collide. Therefore, the cylinder has two sides. The cylinder is orientable because there is a consistent notion of clockwise and counterclockwise on its surface. This is equivalent to having a consistent notion of a normal to the surface or a consistent notion of left and right on the surface. To demonstrate that the cylinder is orientable, I recruited Moby who lives inside the surface except for their nose, which is always normal to the surface. In every possible trip Moby takes in the cylinder surface, their clockwise rotation is maintained. Moby demonstrates one such a trip where they make a complete circuit. At the beginning of their trip, Moby's nose points away from the red circle center, their open eye is on our right, and they are rotating clockwise. When Moby returns home, they are still rotating in a clockwise direction. Their open eye is still on our right, and their nose is still pointing away from the red circle center. Every such trip made by Moby in the surface will have these properties, because a cylinder is orientable. To turn the cylinder into a Mobius strip, Turn each toothpick toward the center by an increasing amount until the last toothpick is turned 180 degrees. The angle of rotation of each toothpick is always half of the angle of its location around the red circle. There you are, a Mobius strip. The Mobius strip has a single edge because by turning the last toothpick 180 degrees, we joined the two edges of the cylinder to make one edge. The upper edge became the lower edge and vice versa. Now for the rolling marble test to determine the number of sides of the Mobius strip. This time only a single marble is needed. The marble rolls the length of the entire surface with a single circuit, demonstrating that the Mobius strip has just one side. The Mobius strip has a single side because by turning the toothpicks, we join the two sides of the cylinder to make one side. In a test of orientability of the Mobius strip, Moby again helps out. As Moby starts their journey around the strip, their nose points away from the red circle center, their open eye is on our right, and they are rotating clockwise.
but this time when Moby completes a single circuit inside the surface, they're rotating counterclockwise instead of clockwise. Their open eye is changed from our right to our left, and their nose is pointing toward the red circle center instead of outward. They have returned to their starting place inside the surface, but they are changed. The Mobius strip is non-orientable. Imagine one of your friends returning home from a journey with their heart on the right side instead of their left. To any being living in the surface of the Mobius strip, this is how Moby would appear after returning home. We next cut the Mobius strip right down the red line to create a third type of surface. When we separate the Mobius strip along the red circle, notice the result is a single strip, not two. Does this new strip retain the properties of the original Mobius strip? Let's see. The new strip formed by cutting the Mobius strip has two edges. One edge is the edge of the original Mobius strip, the yellow edge. The second edge was formed by the cut along the red line, the green edge. Now for the rolling marbles test. Start the marbles opposite each other and roll them in opposite directions. You see that the marbles can never collide. Therefore, the new strip has two sides. But this appears to be a contradiction. Notice that the new strip is a Mobius strip with a piece around the red circle removed. Can this new strip really have two sides if the marbles are guaranteed to pass each other on the original one-sided Mobius strip? To show that yes, this is possible, let's fill in the missing piece the phantom Mobius strip in green and repeat the marble experiment. Notice that as they journey, the marbles pass each other on the one side of the completed Mobius strip, but not on the blue surface, the new strip formed by cutting, which is at the margin of the completed Mobius strip. Is the new strip orientable? As usual, when Moby starts their journey in the surface, their nose points away from the red circle center, their open eye is on our right, and they're rotating clockwise. When Moby returns home, they are still rotating in a clockwise direction. Their open eye is still on our right, and their nose is still pointing away from the circle center. This will always occur on such a trip, because a Mobius strip cut down the middle is orientable. The new strip has more in common with a cylinder than a Mobius strip. The new strip has two edges, two sides, and is orientable while the Mobius strip has one edge, one side, and is non-orientable. The new strip is a close cousin of the cylinder, but has little in common with its parent, the Mobius strip. Next time you complete a journey, make sure that your heart is still on your left side. The universe could be shaped like a Mobius strip.